think it's time to look at a story today, that being Nike. Renita, Senior Markets Correspondent here for the network. So we're diving into all of the various analyst opinions ahead of their earnings next week. Walk us through what you're seeing. Well, shares have turned lower on the day, and it's because of two mixed things, mixed situations happening. Now, while some analysts decided to cut their price target, they're still maintaining these ratings that are close to or equivalent to outperform. But then this is causing everyone to look at the earnings expectations, right, that the company set for itself versus what analysts expect. And it is expected to be lower um, or revenue and earnings are expected to fall. But let's take a look first at these few analysts who've updated their coverage. Morgan Stanley maintained an overweight rating, cutting the price target by $1 to $124 a share, which is still above where it's trading today significantly. RBC cut its price target to $110 from $120. That's a relatively uh, medium-ish cut, but it's still higher than where it's trading and keep keeping it at an outperform rating. Guggenheim keeps it at a buy rating and announces a $130 price target, the most bullish of them all, right? But when Nike reports its earnings next week, analysts expect the adjusted earnings number to actually fall around 20% year over year to 70 cents a share from 87 cents a share where it was a year prior. Sales are expected to fall almost 1% to about 12.29 billion. That goes down from about 12.39 billion the year prior. And the company said that it's gonna focus its core product innovation, focus more on core product innovation. So we can expect to hear more from that, but it's all part of the company's plan to cut about two billion dollars in costs. Now we know that it also announced a couple of a few a job cut, a job cut of about 1600 people. That's around 2% of its workforce. So we can expect to hear more about that and how the company plans to optimize what it has left. Yeah, and I do say that, Renita, this unfortunately does mark usually the, the tail end of earnings season, so I always get sad when we're previewing <laughs> Nike. But given some of their, their underperformance, I, I do hope that these analysts are correct and we see some mm -hmm. upside in what has been a pretty beaten up retailer. But we will leave it there. Great breakdown, as always, Renita Young, Senior Markets Correspondent.